As many of you know, I am a fairly big nerd. I enjoy all manner of different things, anime, comics, all that kind of stuff. Pretty much, if it falls under the general purview of nerd, I enjoy it. And as a result, one of the things that I personally very much enjoy is cosplay. But as a result, I have a few masks that I don't really have much of anything to do with because either my shelf is too full with books or I do not want to put my masks with my figures where I have them displayed. So, as a result, I need a solution to mount them on my wall. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I built, and giving you a tutorial on how to do it if you want to do it yourself, my own personal mask displays. So, where this comes from, as you can see, I have a couple of cosplay masks that I need, or want, at least, to display. But nowhere online sells any decent type of mask display. So I kind of had to come up with my own idea. Now, credit where credit is due. I got this idea from Cosplay Apprentice's video on his helmet mounts. I just modified it for myself. So if you want a few more details on exactly how to do this kind of thing, or you want to see his video, I will leave that linked in the description down below. But without further ado, here is how I made my cosplay mask mounts. For supplies, you will need a piece of PVC pipe, I went with three quarter, a styrofoam head that you can black out if you would like, black paint to black out the styrofoam head if you would like, PVC cutters, a ruler, gloves, a knife or something to cut the PVC later, some spray paint that you very poorly roll into frame, and a heat gun. As well as a very poor insert shot of a drill and some drywall anchors that you completely forgot to record while you were at the workshop. I would also recommend a sharpie or something to mark the PVC with, that is clearly also a shot that I gathered after the fact. Now be sure to throw everything as recklessly as you possibly can off your table, and we can begin. Take your sharpie and using your ruler, mark off the PVC at 4, 9, and 11 and a half inches. Then using your PVC cutter, make a cut at the 11 and a half inch mark. Please note, you can also use a hacksaw or any other kind of implement that can cut PVC. Now take the off cut that you don't need and throw it behind you as recklessly as you possibly can, potentially breaking something else around your workshop. But actually throw it in your PVC bin, this stuff will be really handy later and you can use it in a lot of other builds. Then heat up the shortest marked section on your piece of PVC pipe. It should be about two and a half inches. The easiest way that I've found to do this is by actually placing it on the work table that I'm using and then hitting it with the heat gun while rolling it back and forth. This allows the heat to be distributed as evenly as possible. Once I got the PVC to a nice heated and malleable state, I used the box cutter to cut a line down it. Now you can actually split it beforehand using a saw or something else. I just chose to do this because I saw it in the Cosplay Apprentice video and wanted to try it myself. Once the PVC is cut like that, I put it into a T-shape. This took me a while because I had to let it cool down once I had started doing it. Be sure to wear gloves or some form of heat proof protection because that stuff gets hot and it will burn you if you are not careful. By the end of it, I ended up with the PVC in a nice T-shape. After that, heat at the second mark that you made, the four inch mark, and once you do that, bend your PVC upright. It should now look like an L with a weird piece hanging off of it. Next, go outside to spray paint it, realize you ran out of spray paint. Try again with another shot that you completely fumbled getting the shot of. So resort to insert shot of completed PVC paint. From there, you just gotta mark your PVC where you would like to drill the final holes to mount it and drill those out and then mount it to the wall and you're pretty much good from there. And the final step from there is just mounting it to your wall. Now I will say I do apologize for not actually having any footage of me mounting it to the wall. Whilst I was going in to do the edit, I actually lost the specific footage of me drilling the holes for the mounts and putting them into the walls. It is fairly easy. All you gotta do is once you get it drilled and the PVC mounted, you just have to slip the head onto the piece of PVC. It is relatively easy. If you're going to mount them in this direction, I do suggest measuring out or finding out distances for yourself so you can get the masks on and off. 
Like I said at the beginning of this video, a fairly big inspiration for this was Cosplay Apprentice's helmet stand video. I will have a link to that in the description down below. He goes a little bit more in depth than I do, and I personally think he does a better job explaining how to do this kind of thing overall. However, his idea is specifically for helmet stands. Now, Cosplay Apprentice's build came out to about 198 per helmet stand. Mine, however, come out to a bit more than that. The only reason is because of the... Uh, heads themselves. I bought each head for about seven dollars a piece from the local Hobby Lobby in my town. Unfortunately, that takes the price from his 198 up to about nine dollars a piece, I think, if I'm doing math right. To be completely honest, I actually have a lot of these materials from doing years and years of builds myself. So my view of what certain things cost is a little skewed because of that. However, like I said, the most expensive thing for this is the styrofoam head. If you do not want to do the styrofoam head, if you just want to get a mount for your helmet, you can pretty much do the same thing. Just cap the top of the PVC, and then you can just have the helmet hang off of that. Easy enough. Again, you can follow Cosplay Apprentice's video if you want more in-depth details on how to do any of this process, I basically just adapted his design and made it myself. Uh, with all that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed this video on how to make the mask stand. If you would like to see me do anything else, leave it in the comments down below. I am trying to get back into building props and other such uh, fun little things like that because I truly enjoy building props. I just needed a place to put these masks. If you would like to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below. But that is all I have for now. I hope that everyone who's watched this has a fan fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Peace.